Um, Novum's neologisms for computer friendly. Um, so you have the system, which is it's like all the computers and all the people functioning in like one organic and inorganic data processing like conglomerate. Um, and then you have terminals and interfaces where like humans can like go up to something and actually interface with the system. Um, and then you have like query boxes and monitors, which like I, th I thought the story was kind of ambiguous as to like if the monitors like during the testing day and all that were like actual humans or just robots. Um, so that's open for interpretation. Uh, the last novum uh, comes towards like the end of the short story, talking about time bombs, where um, the the rabbit guy, I don't know what his name was. It's another slide. Um, he talks about like using the children and like implementing them into the system as like kind of viruses. Um, so that's another novum. Uh, neologisms. You have the Asia Center, which is where um, they euthanize children. Uh, Mylintel, which kind of operated as like their secret police, so to speak. And then the NetExec, which was like the main dictator in the society. So specific characters are a lot. Um, Elizabeth Rutherford. She's like the seven-year-old. Um, privileged child that goes in the testing center, um, meets all these different kids that she's never seen before, Sheena and Oginga. Um, and then, so Elizabeth has uh, two, two siblings, Bobby, who is a uh, cyborg that works for Mylintel, and then Christopher, who, like, she doesn't really know, but she uh, overhears her parents talking about, and they, like, euthanized him. But, like, because she's seven years old, she doesn't really get that. Uh, Mrs. Rap Rutherford's the dad, Mrs. Rutherford's the mom. Uh, Mrs. Rutherford is some kind of executive in this whole like system thing. Um, Brownie's Elizabeth's dog, who's also like integrated into the system, um, which I thought was like interesting that it's not just humans interfacing with technology or with uh, computers. Uh, they also like use other species or animals. Um, Norton is the old utility person that's kind of like lingering in the system still. And the Sysop, which is another neologism, um, is just some other child who's doing his job in terms of um, directing the terminal that uh, Elizabeth like interfaces with when she communicates with like her brother and oh, the chicken heart. That's what it was. Yeah, um, and then chicken heart is, um, it's portrayed as a character, but I think that it, it's more of a metaphorical representation of like where this technology began to start with. Um, and then uh, you have the net exec, which is uh, kind of loosely mentioned or briefly mentioned um, as kind of like the end all be all judge of the society. Um, in terms of the environment, you do have the testing center, which like half the story takes place in, where um, Elizabeth is like running through all of these. Um, like computer science tests and like reading, social tests and other stuff um, to pretty much gauge her efficacy as a like future organic data processor, so to speak. Um, so like in this environment, you also have the Asia Center, um, which is kind of the symbol for the society's comfortableness and use of euthanization, um, especially how that relates to like them euthanizing children. Um, in terms of the events that happen, <coughs> um, you have the war, which was mentioned like in one sentence at the beginning of the story. Um, but I thought that the war was important to um, like note here because it does show that when this society first came about, when this technology was first implemented, um, that you did have like resistance to it. It, was, it didn't just get implemented and everyone was happy with that. Um, and then you also have the point where that society decided to start using humans to process data. Um, ethical and political concerns, um, the euthanization piece, uh, that kind of speaks for itself. Like, is it right to kill another human being um, just based on like their test scores, for instance? Um, you also have child targeting, where the society is brought or does function on this idea that like children are raised specifically for the purpose of um, like data processing and like that's what their future is. So that's kind of the, so that brings into like other concerns of like, well, if a child isn't able to like score well on these tests, um, does his or her like value as a human being diminish? 
Um, and then you also have the government structure, like I was saying, where the Mile Intel is like the secret police, and you can like think of the net exec as like the authoritative dictator. Um, that brings to the concerns of like how does this type of political structure function in the story, and what does that say about um, how we conduct our own government? Um, SCS concepts, like I didn't really read into this story too much, but the main thing that stuck out to me was technological fix. Uh, when you get to the end of the story and Elizabeth is talking with uh, the chicken heart about like, you know, they're apparently like euthanizing kids and like we all take tests and stuff, um, where the chicken heart uh, says like, okay, I'll like integrate all these kids that would have been euthanized into the system. So hopefully they can like sort this stuff out. Um, so I thought that was interesting that the chicken heart thought that, um, in order to restore, I guess, like a previous harmony with technology and society, that he could use the children as viruses or like as another form of technology to solve that problem. So you have, um, so that's like one instance where a technological fix, um, I guess, happens and or starts in one of the short stories that we've read. Um, are there any questions or comments for a computer friendly?